Well, nothing can kill romance faster than the word prenup. But with 50% of marriages ending in divorce court, experts say a prenuptial agreement is smart financial planning. And our expert, Charles Schwab, vice president and financial consultant, Mike Bonds, joins us with more information that could protect your financial future. I get choked up thinking about prenups, apparently. Hi, Mike. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. So I have to go right to it. Are prenups just for the rich? Well, you know as well as I do, life events happen to everyone, not just the wealthy. So True. having a plan in place ahead of time generally can prepare you to smooth out some of those life events or mm -hmm. to avoid them altogether. But if you do have considerable assets, mm -hmm. debt, uh, kids from a previous marriage, or anything else that will complicate your finances, mm -hmm. uh, having a prenup is probably a good idea. For both parties, really. Exactly. Right? So what's the positive to the prenup? Well, unfortunately, everybody thinks about prenuptials and divorce. That's but right. uh, it's not a distrust thing. As a matter of fact, when you put a prenuptial together, you have to be very open and honest about all of your assets, what you have, what your partner has, what you want to share together. What you had going into it versus what you get, what you gain together. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and that takes absolute trust. <laughs> no doubt. Right? So no doubt. Uh, to get some of that stuff out of the way in the very beginning mm, really sets a great foundation for you to have financial trust in your relationship. That is a good point. So instead of looking at it as a way to mistrust or plan for divorce, it's a way to think we're building our lives together. So let's start with opening everything up right from the get-go. Right. It also helps you uh, to understand a little bit more about, you know, your own individual finances. It helps yeah. determine who's going to help uh, who's going to manage certain aspects because mm. you're disclosing everything from retirement accounts to brokerage accounts to, to art to right. jewelry all of those kinds of things. So these are some of the assets that you would say the couple should share, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. then what should they keep separate? Well that really depends. I okay. mean when you talk about all these things uh, you're going to discuss that and determine what you're going to want to keep separate and what you're going to want use jointly. Mm. The one thing that you really want to keep in mind is. is that if you come into the relationship with individual assets such as an individual brokerage account at Schwab or something and then right. you commingle the assets then they become joint. Okay. So just be aware of that uh, so that you can uh, do the things that you both feel very comfortable doing. That makes sense. So then how should future or current debt be handled because that's an issue so many people face. Well the most common is what we've talked about when you come into it you own th certain things and you may want to keep that separate but mm -hmm. the two of you will determine which ones you're going to keep separate and which ones you're going to commingle. Just okay. be aware of some of the legal ramifications uh, but getting it all out in the open is really the most critical. Well, let me ask you this. Are they airtight and enforceable? That's a great question to ask a qualified attorney because an yeah. attorney really is going to be the one that draws up the document between the two of you. Okay. But what he'll help you do is to bring out the things that you want to talk about and include those into the document. But mm. keep in mind, the most important thing is you do it in a very loving way. Exactly. Right? <coughs> you first do things it, first. You do things. You listen to each other really well mm -hmm. so that you can have a very strong financial bond moving forward and you can put some of this financial stuff away and not have to worry about it later on in life. Good lesson and our viewers can actually learn more about prenups as well as other financial concerns on July 25th. The details are on your screen starting at 4 o'clock at Four Hills Country Club to attend the numbers on your screen and we'll also have more details on casa.com. Thank you so much it's as always, always a pleasure. Mike. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to you.